everybody welcome back to the channel i am joe usual and today i'm going to take this this vista 3 colony ship and we're going to turn it into what i'm going to call the constellation hauler basically we're going to be able to haul all of the constellation members on the ship at the same time i want to get this uh, up to eight people and we're gonna you're gonna need some perks to do this obviously you're gonna have to be level 60 you're gonna have to have piloting four because it's a class c ship and you're gonna have to have ship design four for some of the parts maybe only ship design two but uh, and also to get this colony ship you're gonna have to have at least security two or three because uh when these are land on planets they are the doors are locked usually this one wasn't the door was open but then i had to get rid of the crew that was inside I had, and then the pilot seat was locked. Once I once I ridded, uh, ridded myself of the entire crew, the pilot seat was locked. So I had to jump from one system to another and come back. And then all the bodies were gone, and the pilot seat was accessible, and I was able to fly the ship. So if you ever have that problem, if you ever have a problem where you're, you're trying to pirate a ship, and the pilot seat is locked at the end, just jump to another system, come back. And it should free up the the uh, the pilot seat for you. So there's a little tip for you right there. Anyway, so this is going to have a 1500 hull. This is going to have um, enough guns that it's going to be able to wipe anything off the map, I think, except for like maybe the key. But it might take on the key too. We'll see how that goes. Uh, it's going to have at least 12,000 carrying capacity without any perks. With my perks, it'll haul, it'll haul 18,000, and uh, it'll hold eight crew, and it'll have all the crafting stations on it. So let's go ahead and get on this. All right, so. Need some work done? Yeah, let's modify my ships. Sure, how about it? Now, oh, uh, also, real quick, this ship is worth 85,737 credits, right? So, if you try to register it at ship services, they're going to charge you 75,000. Don't do that. If you're registering your ships, don't register them at, at, the, at the technician, okay? Just go off into space. Or land on a planet without being in your outpost. Either way, doesn't really matter. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to to get to register a ship cheaper. You're you're going to actually want to go into your you're going to go into your, into your inventory into your ships right here in this area right here. So you're going to be able to access your ships and find the one that's not registered. And down here in the bottom right, it's going to say register ship. This ship cost 75,000 normally to register at ship services. When you do it through your inventory, it only costs 55,000. So I save like 21,000 credits, 20 or 21,000 credits by doing it this way. And all the ships are the same way. They're all way cheaper to register if you do it in your inventory and not at ship services. So there's another tip for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do this. Got anything you need to offload? Trade with them. Okay, no problem. And I'm not trying to make this the absolute best ship in the world, but I got this ship for free, and well, now we're 55,000 in debt, right? Okay, let's, let's start to make keeping tally. Uh, we take 55,000 is what we're in debt on, so we're going to see how much this is actually going to cost me. I have 266,000 to play with. Um, I'm not going to use that much, not even. I mean, well, I mean, it'll be close, but I don't think it'll be that much. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to get rid of a bunch of stuff. I don't need it. There's a lot in here I don't need. Uh, if you didn't see the, uh, the the walkthrough of the Vista 3, that's in my previous video. You can go ahead and check that out in my playlist, which is in the cards on the top right hand side of the screen. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to keep these. Uh, I think I'm going to keep these guns. So let's move this gun forward. Let's move this gun forward. And we're going to take this cowling and I'm going to move this over. We're going to keep these cowlings. Because I want my ship to look nice or look better than what it does. Like, well, the, a lot of the other ships I, I've built have been crappy. We, I don't need this. I don't need that. We don't need... See, let's grab this. I'll keep that. I'll keep that. I don't need I don't need that porthole, and I don't need this storeroom. And then we're going to go ahead... And I'm not going to use this bridge, guys. I'm, I have a bridge that I'd like to use. This, oh, by the way, we're on Titan in New Homestead, if you didn't know. It's in the Soul System, right next to Saturn. Find Titan. New Homestead is where you want to be because that's where the best engine is. Well, the best engine can be bought in a lot of places, but you can buy the best engine here. You can buy the best shield generator here. You can buy the best landing gear here, and you can buy the best engines here. So, a lot of the core of my ship that uh, ship builds are going to come from New Homestead. We took us a long time to figure this out. Uh, uh, so anyway, I've got like 200 hours or 250 hours of live streams 
on my channel on this game. So yeah, I'm, I'm 500 hours in right now. So we're gonna delete this. I don't need it, like I said. Um, and so what we're gonna do is, this is the all-in-one berth, the Nova all-in-one berth. Let me go ahead and hit this. And I think I can turn this into battle stations, which is what I want. So we're gonna move that. That's a battle station now. Then um, I'm not gonna worry about changing out these two by ones right now. See, the battle stations are there. So, this where's the captain's quarters? Captain's quarters, we're gonna put, hang on. I'm gonna put right here next to the battle stations. That's where I want, that's where I want that. And then I wanna go ahead, I'm gonna, I don't need this landing gear. We're gonna get, diff we're gonna get different landing gear. So let's, let's get rid of those. I'm gonna keep these equipment plates because you can't buy equipment plates here. Um, we're gonna go to the Red Mile at the end of this video so I can get some shielded cargo. But they, and they sell equipment plates, but for right now, for the weapons I'm going to buy, I want these equipment plates for later. I don't need these portholes. We can get rid of those. And I am going to get rid of this EM suppressor because I, I want, I, with two sets of turrets on this ship, um, and I'm only keeping those on there to save money right now. Um, I don't really need to, and they're not the best weapons in the game, I'm sure, but I'm just going to keep them for now, and we'll upgrade later. It's fine. Uh, I'm, I still haven't talked to Sarah for the first mission in this playthrough. So we're early, early, early into this universe. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, I'm going to get ditch that EM suppressor. Uh, also right here, I don't, I'm not going to need this, I'm gonna, this cowling I'm going to get rid of. That cowling I'm going to get rid of. And I'm going to ditch the engineering bay too. I don't need that. Um, the, this pi these pipes I'm going to get rid of. Because we're going to use different stuff to make it, make it look nice. Um, and the reason I'm, I'm using, like I said, the reason I'm using this version of the, of the, um, the Vista 3 is I like the color. I can make any color I want, but get rid of that equipment plate. Get rid of, okay, this is a breaking port. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need this. Um, we'll take this little guy and I'll just put that right there and then I'll ditch this guy. Get rid of that. Get rid of this and get rid of that and get rid of this. All right, now before you get rid of the landing bay. Okay, before we get rid of the landing bay, we want to buy another landing bay. And the reason we want to do that is if I take this landing bay out right now, it sinks the whole ship underneath the floor of this. And it's a big pain in the butt. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to add, go to landing bay. Because I want a forward facing landing bay. You might like a side, I like a forward facing landing bay. So, and uh, so we're going to bays. And this is the one I'm going to buy. It's the only one you can buy here. And I'm just going to plop that right there. Just to hold, well, no, not right there on the, the supposed floor. Yeah, there we go. Now when, I, now when I get rid of this, it won't sink it down. Let's go ahead and take that, get rid of that. Boop, now it'll hold everything in place. Now I can get rid of the rest of the landing bays. I mean, the rest of the landing gear and the rest of the cowling, because I don't need them. There we go. And I'm gonna get rid of the shield generator, because this one has, 12 power with a 1350 max shield health. I'm going to get rid of it. Look, there's a, there's a, I think a 12, 1216 that we're going to get. Get rid of that weapon mount. Uh, let's go into the back here as we go ahead and ditch the rest of this stuff that we don't need. I don't need that. That's a, that's an accoutrement. Um, these engines are uh, Amundun uh, X200 engines, or Amundun. Um, and they have a 21,240 thrust, engine thrust. With a 7,200 maneuvering thrust, I, I, we, can, we can go up to, I think it's 24, 26 with the engines that I'm going to use. The better engines are here, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to delete these. Um, and then this I don't need right now. We are going to use, a, we're going to use a lot of those storage boxes, but I don't need that one right now. Uh, the grab drive we're going to keep. And then that's landing gear, get rid of that. And then this reactor is the DC-403, and this is 38 power. I'm gonna get rid of it because we're, we're gonna go ahead and go. There's a one with 40 power that we want, and the reactor health on this one is uh, one, 115. I think the other one's like 175 or something. Let's go to reactors right quick. We'll just pick it up right now. I wanted to before I started buying things. I wanted to see how much money we we actually were getting, we're gaining. Right now we're at 32,000. So the uh, it's the SF40 sheared floor reactor. Oh, it still only has a, a, a health of 116, and Repair rate is 5.8. The power generator is 40. And that's the one. We, that's what we want. The hull is 13.15. Now, the thing about hull, okay, here's the thing. 
There are six different things that control how much or how many. Um, actually, let's talk about hull. Then we'll talk about crew capacity. So hull, most of your hull comes from your reactor. Okay. So if you wonder why you can't get your hull up, it's because of your reactor. All right. Every other piece in the game, almost every other piece in the game gives you between three to six hull. Okay. Uh, so, so really the more small pieces you have, the higher your hull strength will be. Because once they get through your shields, they start eating into your hull. And once they eat into your, once they get to your hull to zero, you are destroyed. You are crying. You are reloading your save. So really, I, I messed around with this all day yesterday and the day before. That's why it took me so long to get this video out. I, w I made a Borg ship where I, I was able to put little tiny pieces of uh, little tiny storage units all around it to add more pieces. And every one of those is five health onto your hull. So the more pieces you have, the higher your hull strength will be. But really, it's not worth it. Oh, and also, all of the accoutrements, all those little, little cowlings and things that I got rid of, they don't contribute to your hull, okay? The weapon mount doesn't contribute to your hull. It has to say hull next to it, okay? Or it has to say hull on it. Like this, this one right here, this is uh, class, power generated, repair rate, reactor health, hull, 1190. This one, the hull is five for the grav drive, okay? Your reactor is the biggest contributor to your hull strength. That's my, that's my whole point. Anyway, I'm going to keep this right here. Um, okay, so let's talk about helium tanks. Somebody asked me in a video, they said, I have 800 um, uh, fuel. Do I need that much? I was like, why do you have 800 fuel? No, you don't. I went and we jumped from one side of the universe to the other. On one side of all of the galaxies, we went to the furthest corner of one, and we went the long way to the furthest corner of the other, and it only took 350, I think. Maybe it was 315. You don't need more than about or more than 400 to go anywhere in the known universe. So they they put eight, they put two of these here for symmetry. That's the only reason I think. But each one of these has 400 grab jump fuel. I'm only going to use one. So we're going to delete this. Okay, we are going to keep this though. So anyway. Um, this cowling, I mean, this, this, this Nova Bracer I'll keep, um, because it's the same color. I don't know if I'll use that or not. Let's get rid of this. All right, these are all the parts that we're going to keep from the original ship. Not a lot, right? All right, so how I'm going to build this, let me go ahead and think about this right quick. Uh, so my mess hall is where I'm going to be coming into. So let's go ahead and let's, actually, uh, this science lab, I'm going to move that science lab out of there. Actually, you know what? Let's move this forward. No, not the whole thing. I uh, see. It just wants to move that with it. I don't want that, dude. There we go. All right. So there we go. That's going to be how we're going to come in. We're going to come into the um, to the mess hall, which is what I want. And then let's go ahead and move this equipment plate over here, if it'll let me. And move this equipment plate over here, if it'll let me. There we go. And then I'm going to just take the, this stuff and move it back out of the way. And then all of this other stuff, come on, all of this other stuff right here, we're going to put the um, the weapon or the um, battle stations in the back, and then we're going to put the captain's quarters right here. I want to keep the, all, all this stuff original. A lot of these, uh, the, 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 a lot of these styles uh, I haven't seen when I buy Nova Galactic stuff. You'll see what I'm talking about when we go inside. The mess hall is really nice, and I and the Nova Galactic mess hall that I had before didn't look like this. I don't think. If it did, I missed it. Anyway, whatever, it's fine. So on top, we want three uh, two by ones. And another two by one right here. We're gonna grab this other two by one and put it right here. Okay, there's that. Um, most of the stuff in the back is gonna be storage and uh, other compartments. So let's go ahead and let's, let's grab the, uh, the cabin that I want right now. The bridge, rather. So let's go ahead and go with. You guys have seen this before if you've watched any of my videos. Uh, this is well. We, we where is it? Am I did I pass it? Cockpits. There we go. The Cabot C4 bridge is the one I want, and the reason for that is because it has stairs. It took us forever to find this this uh, this 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 bridge. It's my favorite bridge in the entire game. Because it, it, allow it allows you to go out through the middle in the back here and also out through the middle 
down below. And you, there's stairs that go down either side. And it's got a big open area. It's also got a sunroof. I really like this a lot. Let's go ahead and color it. Real quick. I think it's going to be like in there. Yeah, so it's going to be this. Right, like right there. This. Kind of like right in there. And then this. Kind of like right in there. Why did that color? Am I coloring something else? Let's go okay. That's the color I want. Why can I not color it? Oh, there it is. I must have been coloring a different piece for some, re for some reason. All right, it saves your color too. So that's going to be the ship color. Hit okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go back here. And let's go ahead and let's get landing gear. And we'll put the rest of this together. Let's go ahead and go add. And then landing gear. And with the landing gear that you want to get is the NG20 landing gear, guys. Um, because it's got four. You guys have to Starship Design 2 for this. It's got four th uh, thrust and four hull. Okay, most of your landing gear that you're, like, that you're going to start with, like with the... Um, like with the Frontier is going to have one and one. This has four and four. So if you could actually literally have one landing gear on, on the Frontier by itself anywhere on the ship and it would still land and get rid of the rest of the landing gear because this is that it's, it's times four times as powerful. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to put this right here and then let's go ahead and color it right quick. And then we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate these and the color will stay the same. Once you color one piece. You can go ahead and hit Control G, and it'll have the same color. There you go. Super easy, super cheap, super simple. I don't know about cheap, but I need, I need I'm gonna need six of these for this build because I've already built this five times. So, and then put that there. Let's go ahead and snatch another one right quick. And we'll go over here. If it'll let me. Sometimes it doesn't want to let you. There it is. All right, there's our landing gear. Shouldn't have an issue with any of that. And then let's go ahead and let's, let's put this. Let's raise this up. I really like a side docking port, but th this build allows for a, um, for a front. So that's what we're going to do. I mean, a top, not a front. There we go. All right, that's going to be good. Let's go ahead and we'll, uh, color this too, or add it. Won't take but a second. There we go. All right. Somebody was saying that it was really difficult to uh, to color your ship in this game. It's not. It's not. It saves the color for you, so it's not even the problem. I don't need this piece. We're going to get rid of it. All right. Let's go ahead and go talk about um, let's talk about storage. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and we'll start with seven, I think. I'm trying to remember how I, exactly I did this. I don't think that's correct. I think I need to drop this down. Oh, my landing gear's too far forward. That's what it is. All right, my landing gear is too far forward, too far back. I mean, so what we can do is we're gonna put this forward and put me like that. There we go, because I want three underneath. So that's what we're gonna do. There we go. She's looking a little boxy, but we'll change that in a minute. All right, so that's good. I want to keep her as, as short as possible. A little bumper on the back there. All right, let's go ahead and let's put. I'm trying to. This is always a tricky part, and the reason for that is because the engines that we got only connect side to side. They won't connect top, bottom, or front. So you, everything that you put together here it has to it has to connect. I need two. I need to connect two engines. It's got to be in a triangle configuration. So, how many do I have here? Three, four, five, six, seven. 
eight. We're at 12,000 cargo right now, and that's not right. Well, I want my mobility to be at least uh, at a 50. And that's not right. We're going to have to ditch some of this cargo and change it up. Oops. Put that there. And then... Or maybe this goes down below. I think this goes down below. Hey, no. Yeah, this goes down below. No, nope, raise it up. It'll let me. Come on, buddy. The game's starting to get squirrely with me. If you stay in the the, the, the shipbuilder for too long, the game starts to, to not like what you're doing, and it starts and it starts fighting you on it. All right, so there you go. That's pretty much how it's going to be. And then we're going to go ahead and go add engines. And we're going to drop down and I'm going to be buying the Poseidon DT230s. Those are the ones I want. Okay. They've got oh, 34,000 thrust. My bad. The other ones had 21. These have 34 with a maneuvering thrust of 11,600. Uh, 11, so that's going to go right there. Let me go ahead and color this right quick. And I'm just going to make everything the same color. You don't have to. And then we're going to go ahead and go Control-G. Drop this down. And Control-G. Move that over. All right, there we go. Now, there's an error here. I think it has to do with... Okay, mobility is 57, so that's not too bad. That's going to get lower when I start putting other things on, but what's my flight check say? Unattached module? Okay, I was afraid of that. Um, oh, well, if that's all it is, it's all this. I thought there was something else that was unattached. No, we're good. We're good for right now. All right, let's start moving some of these uh, cowlings on here. So one of the, this cowling right here. Um, I think I want it there. Maybe I want that lower. I think I want that lower. Okay, it won't let me with this. With this, so we're gonna get rid of that. Put that over there. Put that there. And what, so it's not gonna let me with the other one either. So let's do this. Move this over. There we go. That'll do for now. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the, the other turrets on this. Let's move that up. Oops. Let's move that up. There we go. It's going to look, it's actually starting to look like a ship now. There we are. And let's go ahead and put this guy. Right there. Actually, I might want to put it on the, on the tail ends here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and we're going to flip this around. So that... Well, actually, what's the range on these? The range on this is only 1,000. range on this is 1,300. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to, one of these is going to be facing forward, one of them is going to fa be facing backward. So, I can, so it's, if a ship comes, it goes past me, because turrets only fire in one direction. So, we want, uh, I want turrets uh, facing both directions so I can hit people from both sides. So, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to, uh, I'm going to go Z. I have to pick it up. There we go. That one can go backwards. And pick this up. That one can go backwards. All right, so two facing forward, two facing backwards. And then the third, um, the third thing is going to be uh, some sort of uh, some sort of helium beam, probably that I'm going to use because I feel like I, I like I like a helium beam. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I don't know what they have here, so. We may have to go to Alpha Centauri to get what I want. And then here, drop that down. All right, right now, so I said 11,000 cargo, it's 12,000 cargo. Hull's at 1346, but uh, I can get it higher than that. We still have a shield generator to put down. And it says max crew of five. We're gonna change that up too. I'll show you what, how you do that in a minute. Like I said, there are six. I don't think I need this. Let's ditch that. All right. So the, it says two warnings. Although it is flyable. Where are the warnings? Shield and weapon assignment. That's it. 
Is there anything wrong with this? Except the hole's only 1346. Why is my hole only 1346? It should be 1500. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. Okay, we're not done yet. That's what that's what it is. Shield generator, we're gonna go with the We're gonna go with the max power of uh, uh, twelve and the shield health max health of sixteen hundred. So there you go. There's that. Oh, you know what? I can put that there, that's fine. Um I'm missing I know what I know what happened here. I need to delete that. And now it's gonna it's gonna warn me, I think. Oh no, it didn't. Alright, we're gonna control G this. I want no no not that, not that piece. Uh oh. Stop. That's not what I want. This one. Control G. By the way, because we can't buy the weapon uh plate the equipment plates here, if you notice when I duplicated this, it didn't duplicate the equipment plates. It's because um because you can't buy them here. So the two, the cargoes I want, I want the uh, the S202 cargo holds, they hold 950 each, or the S203s, which hold 1200 each. We're gonna we're gonna go with the uh, the uh, the S203s. They're a lot more, they're more expensive, but that's okay. I'm at 16,000 right now, 160,000 right now. Control G for actually let's not do that. Let's paint that. That way I can save myself some time. Let's go ahead and paint this too. There we go. You can't paint your guns. Oh, I'd be painting my guns. Um, Alright, control G. Duplicate that. Control G. Pull this over here and hit Z three times to get it to go the other way. Um, control G. Boom. Why is my mobility? You know, oh, I haven't put my engines on. That's what it is. I'm so I'm so. Wait, no, I did. I put my engines on. Why is my mobility so so short? Maybe I don't need this. Hang on. Delete that. Delete that. I'm at 48. I shouldn't be at 48. I should be higher than that. Something's not right here. Something isn't isn't kosher. I don't know what's going on. I also have a higher cargo than I normally do. Um, I did something different here, guys. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ditch one of my storage units so I can get my mobility back up to 50. I know it's, I know, I know, I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're if you okay with 48, that's great. It's way more than I had before on the, with the, with that ship, but I don't think I want, I don't think I want to um, have my mobility lower than that, lower than, lower than 50. So what we're going to do is do I want to get rid of this? So I'm going to lose, like almost, yeah, I'm going to lose quite a bit by doing it this way. But we're going to ditch these two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate these other two up here. I think that's what I did. I think that was the difference. Yeah, 1252, 1361 on my hull, uh, mobility 51. That's what I did last time. Uh, only thing is, is my hull is still, uh, still low for some reason. We'll get, we'll get, it, we'll get close to 14 when I'm done, but it's just not as, not as, as much as I wanted it to be. I want it to be 15. Like my, my build yesterday was 15. I don't know what happened. And anyway, let's go ahead and let's go with, uh, let's add some guns under this. Weapons. Right now it's only 163,000 ship, right? 
So, let's go with, let's go all the way down. We only have a max crew of six at the moment. We're going to change that up. So, I think I want a, a, a neutron beam or the helion beam. The helion beam is probably my better bet. Real guns aren't bad. Um, it really depends on how much money you want to spend, to be honest. If I do alpha beams, I don't know if it'll let me. I, I don't know if I have enough, if I have enough um, power to do this. Let's throw down some alpha beams and let's see, what, let's see if it'll let me. Control G. Uh huh. That's what I thought. Weapon. Uh, oh wait. Well, oh, that's all it is. Alpha beam. Boom. There we go. All right. And then I can put another one here. I have max crew of seven, by the way. I'm going to explain crew in a minute. If I can do four of these. I'm nominal still. I still have enough power. Let's go ahead and let's, let's tack on another. Let's go G here. Oops. Oh, I, they don't sell these guns here. So I'm going to do this. So we're going to go ahead and go control G and there. And now I've got my max crew up to eight. So I have, um, so here's the thing. This is, are, there are six different factors as to why you can have an, a certain amount of crew, okay? The first one is, do you have the crew, well, that's not the first one, but one of them is, do you have enough crew stations? All right, we have two here, and then I've got battle stations back here, which gives me six, okay? So that's eight. All right, everything else has got like, um, which well, I, I need to switch these out to how I want them, but basically that's my eight crew stations. You got to have enough crew stations. You need to have the uh, the skill. Let's go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and say it. it's 190,000 by the way, guys. That's how much this ship cost. All right, no, let me go ahead and back out. The second factor is your skill. And that's under social down at the bottom ship command. You have to have rank 4 to be able to be able to command eight active crew members, okay? And those are all the ones that count, mind you. They're either Sarah, I forget, I don't, I don't forget, I don't know, and, and there's conflicting information on the internet. Either Sarah or Vasco are free. They don't count. You still need a crew station for, for Sarah, I think. But I don't think, I think that Sarah doesn't count. I thought Vasco didn't count, but then I was looking at it. I think Vasco counts. I don't think Sarah counts. There's going to be a lot of conflicting information. If you know for sure, if you are absolutely 100% positive, tell me in the comment section. If, you, if you're just guessing, I don't want to hear it because guesses don't help. And I can't help anybody in the future if, you, if, if you're just guessing because I'm guessing. So I don't know. But it's one of the two. So you want, and you want both on your ship anyway cause, um, because, because they're, they're both awesome to have. Just Vasco's shield, uh, shield uh, alone is great. Anyway, so let's go ahead and we're not done with this yet. That was the second thing. I can help you with? Then there's then there are four other items that contribute to um, to how much crew you can have, and I'll, and and I'll go ahead and show you right now. All right, so the four systems that determine how many crew you can have on your ship are going to be your reactor. This one has three. Your engines, each one of these is 0.25. Your guns, your your loadout, each of the, each one of these is 0.5, and your shield generator. This one has a 0.5. So, as of right now, the count that I have, the uh, reactor gives me three. Each of these engines gives me 0.25, so that's only 0.75. So it's not even a full person, because like, you can only have three of these engines on this on the on, on the in the ship. You're only allowed three of these engines. Most builds will allow you to have four. So if you want another full person, you can go with a, a lower grade engine and you can get a full person with four engines, okay? I don't care. It still gets, I'm gonna count this as a half, okay? So that is three and a half. Guns, each one of these gives me a half. So that's four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, and then the shield generator gives me a half, which gives me my eight. Now you need enough crew stations to be able to hold everybody, and you need, um, and you need the ability in social to be able to command them. 
Those are the factors that determine how many crew members you can have on a ship. And now I can have eight. But you're talking about eight crew members plus the free crew member, either Sarah or Vasco, that's nine, plus myself, that's 10 on this ship. I need flow. I need like feng shui happening right away. You know what I mean? So um, so what we're gonna do is we gotta make, I, I like it, there's a certain build I like and I'm gonna go with it. Science lab is what I like here. What is this? I don't want the armory here. We're gonna put the the works the workshop here. Workshops right here. Then this is gonna uh, okay. Duplicated the infirmary, but we want the I want living quarters. And the reason I want living quarters because I want living quarters. It gives two beds. And trust me, when you if you only have one bed on your ship, uh, and you there will come a time. Or one of your crew members is sleeping and they refuse to get up and you can't use your bed so you can get your, your XP bonus. You need extra beds. At least one more. I, in my opinion, they won't, I'll tell you what, Barrett wouldn't get up. The armory is going to stay back here. I want the armory. Wait, no. Yeah, I want the armory back here. And then we're going to go ahead and then back in here, we've got the captain's quarters, which gives me an additional bed. That's three beds. And then uh, we've got battle stations right here. Okay? And you now, if I built this right, this should be really good. I still have 75,000 to go get my shielded cargo. All right, let's go ahead and let's get out of here. All right, hopefully I didn't cancel that. Not a bad looking ship. I like the way the ship looks. She rides a little low, but that's okay. So we come in here, do a little walkthrough. This is why I like the colony ship. Look at this, look at this, uh, look at this mess hall. It's got, a, it's got couches, it's got a desk, um, it's got a little storage in here over here, uh, eating area right here. This is way different than the last one I built. Little uh, corner table, island kitchen, love it. Reach-ins, reach-ins, and it's all feng shui, it all, it all opens, it's all open. It's so good. You go up in here, and you go on the stairs. Cargo's right here. Oh, by the way, so the cargo at this moment, with my perks, is 18,780. I've got more than I did yesterday. I don't know why. I mean, I've got less hull. Something's wrong. Something's different. It's not wrong. It's just different. Like I said, I wanted to get a hull up to 1,500, but it's not going to happen today. All right, so we'll work on that. I'll figure it out. Um, so workbench. Obviously, this is the workshop. Go to the right over here. And we've got our... We have... So we have all the stations. Every last station that you can have in the in the, in the game on your outpost. This is a, this is a portable outpost, basically. Over here, we have sleeping quarters. There's a bed right there. There's another bed right here. I might put a porthole right there. I might put a porthole right there, or maybe up there. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on if the if the wings are in the way. Back in here, we have our armory. Mannequins, so I can I can do uh, extreme environment loadouts for my armor. Like if I'm on a uh, if I'm on an inferno planet, or I'm a, if I'm on an extremely cold planet, or if I'm on a extremely radiation planet. Um, like right now, I'm wearing the uh, the mantis armor, and I mean, um, there's going to be our other armors I want to keep. Um, I've seen the I've seen Boba Fett armor, and I, or what looks like Boba Fett armor. I want to go ahead and grab it. It's really good battle armor. Um, I want to put it on the mannequin. Have Boba Fett come around and hang out with me. Um, this storage box is very small. It's like 10. Um, obviously, these weapon cases, if you have weapons that you want to trade between characters, between uh, between followers, you got, I can hang weapons here. I can hang weapons here. Bunch of boxes. Ammo boxes. How much is the ammo box? Ammo doesn't weigh anything, though. Maybe it does once it leaves your inventory. Let's find out. Ammo case. Nah. Unlimited ammo case. Just to get it out of your inventory if you're not using it. And you could, you could, you could, this is, that's literally unlimited money. So you can just go ahead and stockpile that. And anytime you need some extra cash, dip into your ammo case that you're not using the ammo for. And, uh, and go sell it. I don't think you can access this, uh, from your, as your ship inventory though. Um, so you have to come in and grab it. But it didn't weigh anything. 
But if you want to get rid of clutter in your life, do that. It doesn't matter. You can carry around all the ammo you want. But if you want to, you know, not be as cluttered, there you go. So there's, I like that. That's really cool. Got an armory back in there. Uh, so we've, we've, I've refined the old design is what I've done. Uh, and you jump down here and here's the mess hall again. Really cool, right? All right, so let's go ahead and go back into the back of the bus. And we got battle stations back in here. And the only reason I, I tucked this back of the bus, because I don't care about the battle stations. The only thing I care about is the crew stations that it gives. But we feng shui our way over here to um, the captain's quarters, which is nice and quiet, nice and private. Back of the back of the ship, there's a little desk area. There's my little office area. I have a little apartment right here with a little couch. And then right here, we got a little social area. We, we want to invite the rest of the crew. If you're going to role play that sort of thing, trust me, they will show up here, and I won't be able to find anybody because the ship's too big, even with ten people. All right, so uh, and then it's storage crate right here it allows for an additional 150 storage. So, looking pretty good, but we're not done yet. Let's go to Parima 3, and let's go to the Red Mile, because I need shielded cargo, and I need a, um, a jammer. No, I don't really need it, but I'd like to have it. Um, so I don't know how well this loadout's going to give me. Uh, maybe we'll pick up a... Maybe we'll pick up a... A mission. Oh, well, has it been... It's been 45 minutes already? I didn't even realize it. Boy, time flies when you're having fun. All right. If I was a space trucker, this would be perfect. All right. So, anyway, let's go ahead and go to Prima 3, and we're going to get... Or a smuggler. I can radar from MASH or something. Uh, I'm definitely not Klinger, so you know, there you go. Uh, that's not Cheyenne. What am I doing? Parima. I'm going to Parima. Where's Parima? Purina. Dog chow. Here you go. All right. So Parima 3. Right there. Red Mile. Right there. All right. Cool. And if I think about it, I'll tell you, um, did, I, wait, did I show you how to get, get into your inventory? You can get into your ship inventory from your, from your inventory without being in, uh, so you can drop things off. But you got to be within 250 meters of it. But pretty much if you land, why is it landing me on the roof? That's weird. I've never, I've never landed here at the Red Mile. Have you? Tell me in the comment section. That's weird. I've never had to land here. I don't... Oh, wait. Oh, maybe I have. That was weird, the way the angle was. It was strange. No, we have we always land here. Never mind. Huh. It was just looked weird to me. I don't know why. So we go in the Red Mile here. If you're not familiar with the Red Mile, guys, um, it's, a, it's a casino and a bar. And there's a... Like a track and field event that's here. <laughs> kind of. It's a cross-country event. Cross country running, extreme cross country running, called the Red Mile. That's as easy as I can explain it. Uh, talk to the hostess; she's over there. But that's not where we want to go. We're gonna go past this ship services desk and go into this office. And you gotta listen to this guy complain for a minute, but it's okay. Patrons need to handle their own heat leech removal. So don't ask. This guy's not your usual. Hey, you're the captain of that. You know what? Of course, I have my paperwork. Fine. Truth okay, I, I'm, I'm not going to listen to him, Bellyak. You can, I'll let you do it if started. you want to. He's funny. He's really funny. Sure has. Yep. You think she can. Yep, 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 anyway, yep, 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 yep. So, uh, I, need, I need to view and modify my ships. That's what I'm here for. Cool. So, 75 grand is what I've got left. That's way more than I need. Uh, and then I think we'll take this on one single mission uh, to kill pirates, and we'll see how it is. Um, like I said, I don't like turret I don't like the I don't think I like these turrets but since it came with the ship we're gonna keep them let's go ahead and go ship builder and go add and center equipment all right and so I'm gonna get a multi-frequency scan jammer and I think I might need a, a plate for this where to go I do need a plate oh wait no maybe I don't 
let me just pop it on there it will so we got a scan jammer right there that will allow for a 50 percent chance that you will get uh your stuff through customs without any perks if you have shielded cargo but you have to have shielded cargo so let's get shielded cargo let me i gotta get out of here there we go and there's only one shielded cargo i ever use because i don't really do a lot you can obviously look at all of them and you have to be a high enough level to see this by the way guys so if you're not if you're not level 60 you, you won't probably shouldn't be you probably won't be building this ship anyway um so shielded cargo it's the 102 right or the 101 something like that shielded shielded i'll know it when i see it no nope. no nope. where is it that's it right there so this is the uh, this is the Degama uh, uh, 1000, and it holds only holds 160, but I don't care. It's fine. And then put that back there. Control G, Z to flip. I'm at 48. Okay, so we're gonna ditch these two. That's what I did. Okay, so I'm going to ditch these. And... I have a mobility of 61. See, this is... Something's not right. It's not right! <laughs> um, so, let's go ahead and let's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and add... I mean, I could add more shielded cargo. But... Let's go with... See here, it might have been the oh you know it might have been the weapons that I had yesterday. The weapons are different. It's the only thing I did different. So if we go structural, actually let's go let's go let's go storage. Cargo, cargo, and I want I want a rounded cargo that's gonna look nice, but not have a lot of mass. So. See here, maybe this one. Maybe I'm, what's the mass on this? Two hundred. What's the mass on this one? Two fifty. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was these I, these other ones I used, and I used four of them. I think that's what it was. I think that's what I think that's what I did different. All right, so let's go ahead and delete that, and delete this, and then slap this here. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Pretty sure that was what I did. Yesterday. Yeah, mobility 53. Hulls almost 1400. Yeah, that's what I did yesterday, guys. And then... And then my, my cargo's at 11, 8, 40. If I did this... It increases my shielded cargo. Um, to, and it also gives my cargo, it gives me 12,000 cargo, hulls 1406, so that got me up to 1400 car, uh, hull, that's, that, I think that sounds better, mobility's at 51, I think this is where I was at yesterday, let's go ahead and color this right quick, because you don't want the man to know what you've been up to, right, let me, hang on, delete, 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 Control G, Control G, flip with the Z, Control G, there we go. All right, so I think that is the final ship, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to trade out weapons later on down the road. We haven't even talked to Sarah yet in the series uh, for this iteration of the universe. I, this is on my third universe, by the way. Um, and it cost, by the way, that extra shielded cargo, I went w above and beyond what I did before. So um, that cost me an additional 28000 So... You know, and look at look at my ship. Look at the the, the, the left hand side of my uh, on the top left hand side of the screen. Everything is maxed out. Almost everything is maxed out except for the turrets, right? So this is a turret, and that's a turret. And I could probably purchase. Can I purchase these here? I can purchase these here. 
So maybe we'll do a third turret, if it'll let me. Will it let me? Uh, we need some equipment plates. Hang on. Hang on. I don't want that, though. I want the equipment plate you're sitting on. No, just delete you, then. So... Uh, there's two equipment plates. I mean, I, I don't have enough. Oh, I don't have a place to put this. No way. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. This guy... Goes there. Slap this right here. If I can get these... <laughs> if I can get these auto turrets... All right, let's see. And then let's go ahead. Can I can I buy this one here too? No, I can't buy this other one. So okay, but that's all right. We've just maxed out our, our the the next one. I'm okay with that. I don't see a place to put that equipment plate. So let's delete that. So we're at fifty two thousand. Um, this should be a pretty good gunship. I don't know. We're gonna find out in a minute. Except. All right. So. And I got two of them facing forward. Two, I got three facing forward, two facing back. Actually, I got seven facing forward, two facing back. Um, yeah, okay, let's go ahead and test her out real quick. We got a couple of minutes. Yep. Yep. Bye. Bye. Play by the house rules. You sound like a freaking Cylon on purpose, I know. He sounds like a Cylon from Battlestar Galactica, guys. It's so weird, that, you know. Either he smokes about a, a carton a day, or his voice change is broken. Maybe he's not broken. Maybe he used to smoke a carton a day. And he's talking out of a voice change. On his larynx. That is not, not, not a funny thing either, because you know what? I he smoked for as long as I have. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Let's go get a, a mid. I don't think I don't know if there is a mission board here or not. So we're just we're gonna run right quick. I don't even need to go in the in the in, the, in this chair, but I like doing it because because um I can and it looks nice and I like it. It's a cool ship. All right, let's go ahead and I don't know that I can take on the uh, the Crimson Fleet. I don't think I can. I don't trust the hull. I need another hundred hull, and then I'll trust it. We'll see. And I don't know how I can get that hull up to 1500, without a different reactor. And the only the better the only better the only reactor that's better in this game, are uh, is the um, is the one you can get from Walter Stroud, from the mission that takes you to his boardroom, where you have to help them. I forget it's, everything uh, you know. All the money can buy. I think it is. The, okay, what? But it's called the Kepler, all right? It's a Class C ship. It's the biggest ship in the game. And um, there's, but you need to ask for the kitchen sink option. If you don't, you get the lesser one of the two. You don't want that. Ask for the kitchen sink. Uh, if you don't ask for the kitchen sink, that's all I'm going to tell you about the about the mission. But if you don't ask for the kitchen sink, you're not going to get the Kepler. You want the Kepler. It has the best engine in the game. I think. Or the best reactor in the game. One of the two. It's so, stuff you can't buy. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's get to... I'm babbling now and the video's like getting long, so let's go ahead and let's... Um... Uh, we'll go to... Just... Where is it? Cheyenne. Cheyenne's the quickest. We're picking up missions, I think. Arguably, unless you have one at your base, but I don't have a base belt yet because I just started this universe. Just started the universe, have the one of the best ships in the game. At this level, making money is n n nothing. I don't even need bases. I, I don't. I, I. I don't know that I'll even have a base. I probably have one base for Lynn and Heller to hang out. I don't even know why I'm not going to the to the key because 
The key is the benchmark for these these uh these ships. Remember, stay clear of all bank. I'm just gonna pick up uh Spectres are small ships, Reapers are kind of small ships too. Uh, maybe we'll get a lot, lot more of those. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll pick them both up. We'll just check them out real quick. It won't take a bit of, but like li literally like 30 seconds. Look at that. I mean, hang on. Look how far we're jumping. It's halfway across the known galaxy. I'm, I'm not even using basically half my fuel. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to use my weapons unless I have to. Your cargo sign. Of course, we Okay, so now I will. That one ship got me down to 79 on my shields. I've got stuff I'm not allotted. What's going on? I was only working with 79. Hang on. I forgot to allot my energy. See, this is something you got to think about. I'm not even, and I don't even have, even though I've got everything maxed out, I don't have the energy for it. Now, if once I get all my crew on board, I will have extra energy due to, is it, if Vasco will give me one more in shields. And uh, give me one in shields, and then I think I get some extra energy from aneurotic en um, fusion from maybe Barrett. I forget. I forget who gives it to you. Uh, so I only need one in grab drive. I don't care about that. So um, yeah, shields are up to 91%. I can't. Well, I'm working with like substandard uh, weapons. See, this is what you got to factor in. Is you can have you can say you have all the best weapons in the world, but if you don't have the energy to put them in there, what's the point? And you're, you, you're lying to yourself and everybody else. That's what's going on. So... I guess the laser turret needs to have more energy. Um, and... Let's go ahead and... There we go. I think that's the one that's firing. I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's go to the next one right quick. Got to put energy into the grab drive. Cool. All right. Off we go. Not a bad looking ship. Most of these facing forward. Um, yeah, I might want to change the the forward facing of it, but you know what? I'm okay, happy with this ship right now. We'll go ahead and we'll head to um, we'll head back to. It definitely did not destroy the ships as fast as I thought it was going to. These are the, like I said, the stock. These are the stock um, weapons that are on the ship. I don't care for them, but I will we'll deal with them for now, I guess. Let's go ahead and put all of them facing forward and see what happens. Real quick. I'm going to change them out real fast. Just real fast. Or maybe I'll face a couple of them facing out to this side. It only felt like one of them was firing.
It might be because they don't have the distance to fire. One of them only has you a should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. Come on. They'll cause plenty of havoc Here if left unchecked. Hey, what can I do for you? Okay, no problem. So what we'll do is facing backwards is all well and good in theory, but um, I don't know that I, I care for that. So. Um. Like this. Maybe we'll put these off to the side because if they get close, maybe that's what I want. Put, put, put these side facing. And then that can catch the ones on the side. And then these three are going front. Let's go ahead and let's, um, let's change this weapon system. Because these turret, okay, this was going to, this needs to be the alpha beam. That's my left mouse button. And then this one is going to be the uh, pulse laser turret. It doesn't really matter because those are auto, so it doesn't matter. And accept. All right, so that should be good. So we're going to try one more, uh, one more mission, guys. I don't feel like there's any way I can take on the key with this. I just don't. That situation at Gulf, eh? Their, I think their weapon range is way longer than mine. So we're definitely going to have to change out the weapons. But you know what? We, like I said, we haven't even talked to Sarah about the first mission yet. Crimson uh, Fleet Spectre. Sure, at Shoza. And... That's good enough. That's all they have. So that's what we'll, use. That's what we'll do. My dear darling. Oh, yeah, that guy. He's a, a space crooner. All right, let's see what we got. Not bad looking ship. Weapons locked. Time for some. That's much better. I got the grab drive. Weapon system is down. We can't fight. Doing fire. It's not bad. Grab it out. The guy to my it's left is. I want that ship in pieces. It's not bad. So my, so my gun has way better range than the turrets do. So this is pretty much, that was five ships, six ships. I mean, I might be able to take on the fleet. So let's go ahead and save the game. I, I'm going to try it. We're going to try it at the very end here. Well, come on. Stop. Okay. Oh, stop, dude. Uh-oh. What's going on here? There it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's save the game. And we're going to go, we're going, we're going to, I don't have enough ship parts to survive if we get in if it get if it starts looking bad but we'll go to cricks and we'll go to the key and we'll see what happens i don't expect to be able to survive cricks but we're going to find out i need a little bit better weapons and i would prefer a thicker hull and we're not going to run we're just going to see if we die one time it'll be the end of the video if i win it'll be the end of the video I think these turrets are inferior, to be honest. But they come with the ship, like I said. So, here we go. I'm going in now. You're mine. Crash shot. Not that we're running anyway. I'm going backwards. Tail. Yeah, we're getting hammered. They got the drive. I don't have any crew on board either, so. Can't, 
Yeah, there's no way. There's no way we're gonna do it. Hang on. This is without any crew, too, so. Yeah, I'm done. They hit me with too many. Um, with crew, we might be able to take it. But I need I need different weapons. So that's okay, guys. Um, I didn't expect to be able to take on the key with this. Um, but that is the benchmark for the uh, for the for the ship that I'm that I build at the end. I have taken the key before. But that's not what uh, that's not what this is about. This is about getting getting a, a good ship with everything that I need that can hold as many crew as possible. As soon as I get all my crew bonuses, we could probably take on these guys. But right now there's no way. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for coming in. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If I've earned your subscription, don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications. As I always say, I am my usual me, be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.